Squash XL Pro is an elite team that work hard to train, play and run squash events on our journey to climb the world rankings. Like, subscribe, comment, pick up some of our merch on Teespring. Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, underway now with this, the Lookaround Open. And the men's final what is Lewamba Tulisi in the orange shirt. And Joseph White, well, he's got his name all over the back, so you can tell it's him. The second seed from Australia. And we're looking forward to, oh, probably a very long match, the way Joseph White plays. He's very calculated in his matches, and uh, the way he came through against Tim White Tulisi last night was, uh, was a great match, but also very well planned. So the different styles will come through here. Expect a few long rallies, and then every now and then, in particular, the Wamba Chalisi will really gun for a couple of good shots and uh, gets the error going in his favour. Does the Wamba Chalisi and the respective rankings here: 114 for Chalisi, 137 for White. Uh, let us know your thoughts on any scores or who's going to do what in the game. Happy for any thoughts on any refereeing decisions as well. Oh, great play. Yeah. Nice play. Uh, Finishing off a very lengthy rally, and uh, Joseph White now on the board. And the error there for the one with Chalisi, if he cuts those out, he just can't afford anything with Joseph White, and that was where Tim White Chalisi last night he let slip a few of those, uh, more than just the regular one or two. It was about uh, four or five, possibly six in some of the games. And uh, it really didn't help him at all. Joseph White has been the Australian number one for most of this year. It was only last month or this month when the rankings came out that Reese Dowling moved three places ahead. Oh, there you go. And a ball over the glass at the end. In the meantime, I'm going to introduce uh, Adam Hatley Owens, the uh, president of Howick Squash Club, in just a moment. But at the moment, I think we're all riveted to the <laughs> to the actual points. <laughs> we'll be with them very shortly. <laughs> Oh, great play. Held the ball. And just had Luamba Chalisi in two minds. Uh, Adam, just come across this way a little bit. Club president and big grade champion, I understand. Uh, you know, this is great for you and the club to see squash of this calibre, isn't it? Oh, look, it's, it's fantastic to uh, see this little squash here. We've um, yeah, pretty, pretty privileged to sort of get this quality of field, really. And I mean, maybe that's a little bit of help to uh, some of the travel rules, but. Um, but 
amazing for our club members to sort of see see these these guys over here and obviously very lucky also to have Joseph here just because you know the, the board from Queensland only opened up just a few days ago so uh, great to see him over here as well. Oh and do you think this will help your squash? Look, I think um, maybe my uh, window of opportunity is long since gone, but it's great to see the juniors yeah. down here watching yeah, this. that's been good. Yeah. I mean, this is the whole thing with having a PSA challenger or satellite. Is it's not just about the players on court. It's the players, the volunteers, all watching good quality sport and good quality squash. Absolutely. We've got a good junior program going at the club now, so we've got... Pausing to take in this rally. <laughs> yeah. oh. I was just about to say there haven't been too many gaps in the rally where. Uh, one player can take advantage of it, and uh, it's just the odd stray error that we've had a couple of those. Absolutely fantastic start. So I think yeah, the whole crowd looks like they're uh, already well, uh, well engaged and thrilled. And what yeah. Well, that's yeah. a good shot. Great nice shot. shot. So you better give a, a plug to your coach here at the uh, club. Absolutely. Mm. So um, yeah, Glenn Wilson's been a coach for uh, just a little, a little over a year now. So I can see him uh, sitting down there. Absolutely. And he's. Um, yeah, he's doing wonders with the junior program and the off-to-school coaching program. We've got 65 juniors who are members well, of the good. club now. And that's an increase. And that's on the increase now. And, uh, yeah, so the more we sort of bring through the schools and then into the kind of the, 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 the playing, you know, the, the playing within the um, junior programs, just great for the club, great source of players for the future. And, uh, Quite a few of them down here today, obviously, hopefully, you know, get some inspiration. Yeah, I can see a few youngsters, and there's even someone in a pram. Perhaps that's a little too young, but it's good to have people coming down of all ages. And your sponsors from Liquorland as well, I think uh, they're sitting up behind us. We, we are so lucky to have Liquorland support us through this this tournament. Um, amazing, amazing sponsor. They're a family that played squash for many, many years, so it's nice to see them back on court themselves as well after uh, a little bit of a break. But yeah, very lucky to have them as a sponsor and uh, we appreciate all they're doing for us. Great rally, and uh, the retrieving skills of Joseph White there. Quite superb keeping in the rally there, and uh, Luwama Chalisi, I think he thought he had it won a couple of occasions. Not quite. White is certainly very, very keen to ram up this tournament. Uh, he's not coming over from Australia for nothing, and uh, was very disappointed at losing early by his standards at the Barfoot and Thompson Auckland Open. Better depth there. And we've seen about four errors now, or five errors now, from the Wamba Chalisi as we get into the first game ball of this first game of the men's final. Of course, Amanda Landers Murphy taking out the women's in straight games over Ella Lash.
Oh, well done. Finishes it off. The first game with a decisive forehand and a very lengthy rally. And uh, Adam, what do you think about that? <laughs> Just amazing squash, really. Just Back now for the second game. And Joseph White on the court, almost running on there. He's uh, won the first game, 11-6. And just everything he's doing is so focused on winning this tournament, winning this title, getting his first PSA Challenger title. And uh, let's see how we can start. A uh, few errors, or a few too many errors, that is, in the first game from Luamba Chilisi in those very lengthy rallies. Let's see if he can improve a little bit, cut out those errors. It's just such hard work getting anything free out of Joseph White. Oh, that's a little bit of a tangle. to be a real test of the patience of uh, Lawamba Chalisi so far in this rally. He's stayed focused. Who's going to make the error first? Oh. go now that was a huge rally and uh, Adam club president here at Howick well, he was he was <laughs> trying for an extra point there <laughs> yeah, keep calling it one day it might happen uh, just a, another huge rally there Adam and uh, that's a game of attrition just to uh, yeah. sneak it out uh, muscle the other to uh, try and get ahead uh, after this rally, I'll ask you about plans for the club and um, we'll sort of fit that in around the rallies. So, giving away that point, Luana Chalisi. And uh, plans for the club, Adam, anything in particular? So the club's been around for 50 years, just on 50 years now. And uh, this facility here has been, been here for just on 20. So 2001 we opened. Um, that's a fantastic... Oh. Everything into it, isn't he? Um, so really, I guess as a club, just um, trying to trying to grow our membership through a lot of casual squash as well, not all competitive squash. So we've um, you know, put in new computer systems and so forth to just help uh, help make that whole process a bit easier. We've also put in interactive squash. So we're trying to bring technology back and make squash fun for you know all ages and also all abilities. Uh, no, I think we've, um, we've got aspirations of putting another court in. Um, a uh, hopefully a glass court. That's exactly right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, we'd, we'd love to make it a real kind of glass court and actually for this to be one of the more premier places to host tournaments like this in the future. Um, that'll, that'll take a little, little while, but that's, that's uh, hopefully where we're heading. Great stuff. Good to have future plans. 
for the sport. Uh, certainly a population growth area around Good all. Job. Well played. Not quite going right here for Lawamba Talisi. Won the first two points. And oh, yeah. <laughs> as you said that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's always the way. Maybe I should say it a bit more. If anybody watching wants to say their thoughts, feel free to message through. We certainly got a few thoughts yesterday. I think it was about 75 of them on one particular match. So now we've had uh, just a couple of errors in this particular game from uh, Joseph White, and that'll let Luamba Chalisi off a little bit. Oh. Interesting boast. Yeah. Nice play. See that uh, Adam just able to roll his wrist over that, and uh, the ball had not much power on it to come back off the front wall. Yeah, amazing attacking shot that just right into the front there, just out of reach. Uh, that was because Lawamba Chalisi running back behind White, and uh, if the ball had been, if the racket had been taken back further, he might have, uh, White might have been able to hit Lawamba. So a stroke against Lawamba, but then he comes back with a winning shot next. Oh, somehow came in, stayed in. Oh, rally continues. Oh, yeah. uh, well, just as we say that, it's a winner. And that's a real confidence boost as well. Wouldn't you say that, Adam? That was amazing. Just a nice little delay and then just sent him in the wrong direction for a moment there and then just out of reach. Great turnaround. Oh, and <laughs> just trying to rush the shot a little bit there, yeah. just to take the winner. Yeah, I think it was uh, that he knew he had the winning of the point. That uh, pretty much played it back at himself. the first time since Two Love that Lawamba Chalisi had had a lead, but now we're back to one of the most vital points in squash is uh, this 15th point. <laughs> Who's going to go up 8-7?
is a huge rally. Both players using all angles of the court, and... Oh. Drop that score. Oh. Gee. It was so close to being a great shot. <laughs> it was uh, worth, worth the while. Yeah, it, was, it was on, but uh, just not quite executed right in the end. And 8-7, uh, Joseph White from Australia up. He took the first... Oh. He took the first 11-6 and is now up 9-7 in the second. This is the second seed, Joseph White from Australia against Lawamba Chalisi. Remembering that uh, Chalisi's won a couple of these tournaments around the country, Northland Open and Morrinsville Open. Been runner-up on a couple of occasions as well. the error back there and uh, Louis Luamba is uh, pretty happy about that one. Um, needed that point otherwise he was going to be down game point there Adam and uh, yeah look some great speed being shown by both these players to get around they're just amazingly quick at retrieving. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't your most orthodox kind of serve or return? Here, the one Chalisi asking, is that really a stroke? So he's been told you can't sweep behind. Uh, makes it awkward for the other player that they're going to swing back. That's the second time uh, the one Chalisi's been. And uh, that gives a game point to Joseph White. Twice uh, the one Chalisi's been caught out on that in this uh, particular game. Critical point there, right? Eh? Yeah. To give them that. Oh. He, yep. Didn't pick it up in the end. And uh, good sportsmanship there. And it was a bit hard to tell uh, from the stands whether that was picked up or not. But uh, White acknowledged it and gives the point to Luamba Chalisi. He's still down by a game point though. He really picked up the pace in that game there. So just, uh, to a bit more pressure on Joseph. the cries of ooh it was tight to the wall that one and tight to the line A stroke. <laughs> Joseph White knew it and Lawamba was making sure of it or hoping for it. We're at turn all now, folks. It's an amazingly tight uh, play down the walls there. Just absolutely glued to the walls. Amazing squash that. That was a stroke, but he can't go looking for you with his racket. And uh, you would have heard the instructions there from the officials. Definitely a stroke, but don't go looking for him with your racket. Yep, fair call. Some 
top quality squash here at uh, the Lookaland Howard Squash Open. Between these two, of course, Joseph White winning the first 11 6. Oh, played that so well into the corner. Yeah. Couldn't quite get to the ball, uh, you know, dig it out of that corner. Yeah. And for you, Adam, as uh, the president of the club here, the, the players, um, usually the ball dies a little bit in the corners, but no, there hasn't been too many comments about that. So it's been good. No, no, I think our courts play, you know, exceptionally well, exceptionally true. I think we've got yep. a lot of effort into maintaining the quality of the courts. Um, the, uh, yeah. Oh, and 12-10, the second game to Joseph White. It's a little bit loose on that last point after all that effort to get it back to 10 all. A couple of strokes going against... Uh, Luamba Chalisi in that game, one against uh, Joseph White, but gee, that was tight. And uh, we're back on court now for this, the third game. Joseph White, the Australian, the second seed, ranked 137th in the world with a two game lead. And a message from uh, Brendan uh, Woodhead. And he said, gutting Louis, he can come back, but needs to attack earlier. White is making uh, more mistakes going for shots, but playing more winners. Okay, all right, Louis, go for winners earlier. That's the key, apparently. Come through with any other coaching tips or any other decisions, feel free. It's one of the first lets that we've had, actually, of the whole match. We've had a three strokes, uh, two against uh, Luamba in uh, the last set where he was um, drifting around, and one against Joseph White. Pick it up, a nice little dink from Joseph White. Made it very tough, even if Luamba Chalisi had been able to get there. He uh, would have played this shot and have to really drive himself out of the way. Got a change of direction. play and uh, it looks as though Joseph White was just a little bit slow to react to that one and the end uh, the ball faded and uh, Adam is uh, club president you spend how much time are you putting into this you've got a job in the city as uh, Kiwi Bank I think and uh, that's right yep. so, uh, so you must be spending a few hours yeah absolutely um, spending, spending a few hours but um, really we've got a great committee uh, who support the club and um, you know, Sharon Farmer, who's our administrator. She's been here for quite a while, in a nice way. In a nice way. She's, um, she's uh, been looking after all of us at the club and, and making sure that these, you know, our facilities stay in great, great condition for, for quite a while. So, yeah, massive thanks to her for everything she puts into the club. It's almost too many options. <laughs> too many options, too many choices. <laughs> I want to and, do this. Uh, unfortunately found just the top of the tin there. I think uh, just checking if it being Yeah, just checking that maybe it being clipped in.
Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a good point. And out three, two. And uh, just staying in this third after dropping the first two. The first 11 six, the second. Oh. Well, there we go. There's a couple of errors coming out of uh, Joseph White. We're, we weren't expecting that. No, just went looking for a cheap point there and just uh, didn't quite get it where he wanted it. Just as this match has progressed, it's getting a little bit more physical. Just a little bit more uh, clashes of the body. We've only had one lap in the entire match, all of the great angle. playing under the ball on the backhand. Yeah. And what's he asking for? He's checking was the ball up earlier in the rally and gets the thumbs up from the referees. And this is the biggest the biggest lead that Luanda Chalisi has had in the match. Three point lead, five, two up. Don't forget if you want to come through with any thoughts on this match or any decisions. Oh, now that's the second time in this particular set that Joseph White's had a couple of loose shots earlier on there, Adam. Uh, really? Yeah, I think he's been put under a lot more pressure in this game and it's just, um, just starting to take a little bit of a toll on him. He's looking a little more tired than he did before. Yeah. Yeah, he certainly does look a lo lot more tired. Oh, that was a good shot, though. He's, he's extremely fit, but just a little bit more fatigued in this game so far. Although he is up by two games to love, so yep. that's certainly that, that helps with a bit of tiredness when you're when you're ahead. Bouncing back, pretty motivated to move forward. Turn this one around. Yeah. Just saw a front corner nick come into play there because with the movable walls we just get a little nick on the front every now and again. So this is one of the courts, uh, so you've got two courts that can go into doubles courts? So, yeah, so three courts, yeah, converted right. to two doubles courts. And, uh, oh. Oh. Nice play there from uh, White. Yeah, very popular doubles at our club. Um, really? Yeah, we've got groups uh, who plays with, you know, Different groups play about four times a week, particularly Saturday afternoons. We've got a great, great group that play regularly. How long, and, um, is it, how long does it take to move the walls? Is it, uh, oh, just a few minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, a couple of minutes to, for it to get in position and then lock down again. Um, and we've been regularly hosting the Auckland doubles uh, for the last few years now. So that's a bit of a regular on our cal calendar. Great retrieving from Joseph White. He's back in the rally. Uh, the one with Chalisi trying to put it away. That's uh, a lot of a lot of work from White in this rally, but he's back in it. Tight against the line. Oh, and then squeezed in that uh, forehand back corner. What a great rally. And uh, good work from Joseph White to hang in on that rally. And uh, Luamba Chalisi, look, I'm sure he believed he had that point won on several occasions. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you do that one, yeah. <laughs> Brian? Yeah. Fantastic shot from the back there. I'd just love to learn that one. Got a bit of support coming through for Louis from uh, one of our mates, Brian, down the line. Anybody else thinking that Louis can come back? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a good comeback uh, shot there, actually. So, uh, so 
just when Joseph looked like he was sort of pulling his way back. Uh, yeah. Louis just stepped it up again. Yeah. Nice little three point buffer. Still having to work. Make that four point, sorry. <laughs> Mass isn't so good today. And uh, Louis, your grandfather says uh, that you can come back and win, so that's good. Thank you, Hugh. Uh, he's got game ball now. Uh, almost a false step. Yeah, uh, not quite. And uh, some good play there from Joseph White. Quite tight on that corner in the backhand. Game three is on the board now. Rwamba Chalisi taking that one 11 6 with a very authoritative forehand, uh, kind of slapping it across court and right into that forehand corner. He's actually won quite a few points in the, that corner. So Luamba Chalisi, he should have his confidence back up now after winning that third game. Of course, Joseph White taking the first two, it was six and then 12-10. Uh, and made a few unforced errors in that the third game. Gee, this, oh, just coming under it. Not enough lift on that one. Fast and furious rally to start the fourth here. We're keen on any interaction from you watching. Uh, we've got a few people watching, I know that. Finn Trimble, you're around there somewhere, I'm sure. And nice play to love. Any other players uh, out there? You can give us our, uh, your thoughts. And uh, <laughs> so a couple of fast and furious points, then a mistake. just slowed down just a little. Yes. The Wamba switch is there. The point that's actually been helping is hitting deep into the forehand. Seems to have won him more points, but he's happy to go into the backhand corner at the moment. Oh, nice close from way back. Did he pick it up? He did. And But not that next shot. And plenty of appreciation for that rally. In fact, for the whole match so far, Joseph White up 3-1 and this the fourth. And uh, the unforced error, and you can't afford to do that, Luan Michalisi. Pick it up, come on. If uh, Joseph White wins this, this will be his first PSA Challenger title. And if Luamba Chalisi wins it, it will be his career third title. Just uh, reminding people that Amanda Landers Murphy won the women's title, defeating Ella Lash, the 15 year old in. Not up. And that was a straight game effort there for Amanda Landers Murphy for her 13th PSA Challenger title. And he gets the stroke back. That's the free point there.
<laughs> it was up so close to the wall. <laughs> Joseph White there just uh, mucking it up, basically. And, uh, so after a couple of sh shorter rallies, just suddenly a, a really long one. <laughs> Uh, but that obviously means a lot to the woman there. Big roar at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Got him a bit fired up. He's back trailing by just one point now. Sweat on the court, and someone's gone out there with the mop. And the towel. Uh, yesterday they weren't happy with the mopping, so they did the toweling themselves, which was good to see. In fact, I took I took the mop out, and I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> yeah, so they asked for the towels. It was actually you were fired. Me. Yeah, been stood down from uh, those duties now. Yeah. So after that lead, it is uh, Chalisi trailing 4-5 and they're down by one game to two. Shot from White. Fantastic drop that one. Just took all the pace off it. Well, that is one of the things that, well, particularly juniors have to remember that uh, not every ball has to be here at pace. Taking the pace off is, or three quarter pace, half pace, it's uh, an advantage more than a hindrance. Yeah, and often that's what you need to do to hit a good length, really. Yeah. Just, uh, Get to come back and do that one all again. As <laughs> a little bit of traffic, uh, both hunting yeah. the ball early to try and get a volley. I think uh, Lawama was just pleased he didn't get a stroke. Another huge rally and just that bit of variation on the shot from Joseph White. Uh, they want to give him that win. 
Yeah, some good patience shown, and then uh, the opportunity was there, straight into the neck. And uh, they are both tired. I'm tired watching. That was, uh, well, great shot there. Uh, Ryan Smith saying that he's just tired watching. And, uh, great shot to come back there from uh, Luamba Chalisi. the reaction volley from the uh, body that really helped the Wamba Chalisi. It really helped him uh, win that point in the end and bring it back to just one point in between two players here. Joseph White, the second seed from Australia against the top seed from New Zealand and the Wamba Chalisi. That's a good shot. Took all the pace off that and uh, a little bit of chop underneath. Nothing was going to come back. Cut the racket underneath the ball there, just you know, took all the pace off. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. It's for a little bit too much there. And that puts him in quite a precarious position. There's uh, Joseph White up two games to one. Now 9 6. Yes, <laughs> There's looking for the stroke, hoping for the stroke. from it appeared from here that uh, the Wumble was quite a way behind Joseph White and uh, so the let rather than the stroke White really wanted to get to match point uh, he's gonna have to wait or win this point It's a great lift, great lob. This is the uh, third time we've gone through this one. Admittedly, it was a poor shot, but you accentuated your swing. Do not go looking for him. And 9-6 once again for the third occasion. And it so often happens that as we get tight, either in a game or in a match, uh, the decisions get more vital.
good play. That's great play. And gives a match point there. After three occasions that point was played, it's finally a win there on the point. 9-6 going up to 10-6 for Joseph White, the second seed. Gets one back, holds off one match point. Oh, that then gives it away with the backhand into the into the turn. Joseph White wins his first PSA challenger. Congratulations there to White, the second seed. Came across from Australia, well, he didn't even know if he was. It was up in the air, then came across early this week from Queensland as the flights opened up, and he's made it a good choice to come across. Well done there for Joseph White.